Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my second and third month update on the nipple piercings. Alright, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I don't think that I have a whole lot to say. Um, so for the second month, this one was doing fine. And this is the one that I had to get the longer bar put in. Um, if you saw my one month update, I think. Um, and this one still has a shorter bar in it. So this one was fine. Um, still crusty, which is, you know, it's more mostly the second month. But this one started to do the same thing that this one did in the first month. Um, where it was acting like I was going to need a longer bar put in. Um, and it was hurting. At one point, I was running on the treadmill. And I, like, had to stop because, like, it was hurting so bad. Like, I don't, I don't know if my sports bra was rubbing it the wrong way or something. But it was just hurting really bad. So, I had to, like, adjust my sports bra and everything like that. Um, and it was just really frustrating. And it was really, like, crusty and gross looking. But unfortunately, like, my schedule was so busy, and me and my boyfriend were on a night nice schedule, so I couldn't go to my piercer to have him put in a longer bar. And I was too scared to take it out and put in a longer bar, because I do have a longer bar, um, but I was just too scared to do that myself. And because I was worried, it was just, it's such a new piercing that I really wanted a completely sterilized bar to be put in. Um, but yeah, so... Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to my piercer, um, so I just kind of left it alone and cleaned it, you know, twice a day, as best as I could, just kind of baby it, and towards the end of the second month, it started to be completely fine, um, which, thank the Lord, because, um, you know, it's, it's already awkward enough to have to get your nipples pierced to show your piercer your boobs, um, and I've been going to my piercer for years, so it was kind of like even more awkward I felt than just showing a random piercer if that makes sense um and so I was like I don't want to have to show him my boob again um even though it's a completely professional thing just I'm very shy and awkward about my body um but anyway so second month at like towards the end it started to be fine um now for the third month I still have that short bar in this one's still a long bar um they're doing fine they are still crusty um, which is to be expected. It's still obviously healing. Um, they do definitely tend to get sore. Uh, still, I'm still wearing a sports bar to bed. Every once in a while, I'll be just too lazy to do that. And I'll not wear one, and then I'll wake up in the morning, and they are more sore and more tender. Um, so I definitely try to have a sports bra on. And I'm still trying to get used to them, as weird as that is, like when I'm not wearing a sports bra. Because, like, you do not realize how, like, in the way your nipples get until they are, like, pierced and they're sore. And it's, like, you hit something or, you know, you accidentally smack your boob and it just hurts. It gets so sore and just, uh But, I mean, really, other than that, they're doing fine. Um, I'm going to have a video up. Um, I don't know if it'll be before this or after um, of how to clean them. Um, so, you know, if I have it up before this, then I'll just have it linked down below. Um, but if not, then just keep an eye out for it. Um, but really, I think that's it. Like I said, I really don't have much to say. They're healing fine after, you know, the second month, that little bump. But yeah, so I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. I'll see you in my next video.